Acts 27, 21 through 26. When they had been long with that food, Paul stood up in the middle of them and said, Sirs, you should have listened to me, and not have set sail from Crete, and have gotten this injury and loss. Now I exhort you to cheer up, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For there stood by me this night an angel, belonging to the God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Don't be afraid, Paul, you must stand before Caesar. Behold, God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore, sirs, cheer up, for I believe God, that it will be just as it has been spoken to me, but we must run aground on a certain island. After fourteen nights the sailors sensed they were near land. They took soundings and determined they were nearing land. It was dark. They dropped four anchors to avoid running aground and prayed for daylight. Acts 27, 27 through 29. But when the fourteenth night had come, as we were driven back and forth in the Adriatic Sea, about midnight the sailors surmised that they were drawing near to some land. They took soundings and found twenty fathoms. After a little while they took soundings again and found fifteen fathoms. Fearing that they would run aground on rocky ground, they let go four anchors from the stern and wished for daylight. The sailors lowered the skiff to appear that they were putting out more anchors. However, they intended to leave the ship. Paul told the centurion and soldiers, Unless these men stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. The soldiers cut the ropes to the skiff and let it fall away. Acts 27, 30-32 As the sailors were trying to flee out of the ship and had lowered the boat into the sea, Pretending that they would lay out anchors from the bow, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, Unless these stay in the ship, you can't be saved. Then the soldiers cut away the ropes of the boat and let it fall off. As the day dawned, Paul encouraged them to eat. It had been fourteen days since they had eaten. Paul indicated that they needed food for nourishment and survival. He reminded them all they would be safe. Paul then took bread, gave thanks to God, and began to eat before them. They were all encouraged by Paul and ate as well. After they had eaten enough, they threw the wheat into the sea and lightened the ship. There were 276 people aboard the ship. Acts 27, 33-38 While the day was coming on, Paul begged them all to take some food, saying, This day is the fourteenth day that you wait and continue fasting, having taken nothing. Therefore I beg you to take some food, for this is for your safety for not a hair will be perished from any of your heads. When he had said this, and had taken bread, and had given thanks to God in the presence of all, and he broke it and began to eat. Then they all cheered up, and they also took food. In all, we were 276 souls on the ship. When they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship, throwing out the wheat into the sea. At daylight they saw a bay with a beach, though they did not recognize the land. They desired to drive the ship onto the beach. They let their anchors go into the sea, hoisted the mainsail, and headed for the beach. The ship ran aground where two seas met, and the prow stuck fast. The ship was immovable. The waves violently began to break up the ship. Acts 27, 39-41 When it was day, they didn't recognize the land, but they noticed a certain bay with a beach, and they decided to try to drive the ship onto it. Casting off the anchors, they left them in the sea at the same time untying the rudder ropes. Hoisting up the foresail to the wind, they made for the beach. But coming to a place where two seas met, they ran the vessel aground. The bow struck and remained immovable, but the stern began to break up by the violence of the waves. The soldiers planned to kill the prisoners to keep any from escaping. The centurion stopped the soldier's plan. He wanted to save Paul. The centurion commanded all who could swim to jump overboard and swim for shore. The rest floated on boards or parts of the ship. They all escaped safely to the island. Acts 27, 42 through 44. The soldier's counsel was to kill the prisoners so that none of them would swim out and escape. But the centurion, desiring to save Paul, stopped them from their purpose and commanded that those who could swim should throw themselves overboard first to go toward the land, and the rest should follow, some on planks, some on other things from the ship. So it happened that they all escaped safely to the land. Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 27, Lesson 28, The End